What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? Welcome back here today to another reaction video and you guys seem to enjoy the Colin Coward reaction videos we did last week. So he uploaded or the herd uploaded he his three word NBA game. So today we're going to be reacting to that. I know there's going to be some interesting takes in this and I thank you to everyone who watched the uh, the quiz video on Sunday. Really embarrassing I know and the reason why my reaction like wasn't like like that funny is because i literally was like who is this gonna be and, and thinking in my mind it was gonna be like some someone from the 50s right and then when i saw michael jordan i was like i can't even upload this i like literally stopped the recording right there and i'm like oh my god i can't even upload this so that's why i didn't like freak out super much but i was just like dumbfounded for the next 20 minutes and like my jaw was just, like literally like that for 20 minutes because i felt so dumb but yeah we're gonna react to this today i'll leave a link to the uh, youtube video in the description below you guys can let me know in the comments any other videos you want me to react to please let me know but yeah without further ado let's get into this i know there's gonna be some interesting takes last nba season resumes tonight pelicans jazz clippers lakers in best for last we do what we do about five six times a year we call it the three word game everybody can be described every team in any sport in three words here we go lakers LeBron's last chance. 17th season. It's not a good draft. There's nobody in free agency. Of I mean, they would have the 30th pick anyway, so it's not like the draft was going to make a huge difference for them. And free agency? Can't they get a little creative with AD's contract? I think they can. I, I honestly, maybe this is obviously LeBron's best chance, and each year from now is going to get a little bit lower of a chance that LeBron will be able to play at a top five level. But we haven't seen him slow down. You could say he's better this year from last year. And I don't know if this is the last chance. I, I disagree. I think they'll be good next year. Maybe they won't be the number one team in the West, but they could definitely be a top team in the West. LeBron's getting older. I don't think he trusts Kuzma. Danny Green will just be older. Another year for Anthony Davis on that worn body. LeBron's last chance. I feel like is also entering his prime. Clippers. Kawhi becomes legend. No player has ever won a finals MVP with three different teams. In fact, no player has ever won the finals MVP in two conferences. He wins it now. I think you have to put him in the top 10 players. That'd be kind of cool. That would be, I, well, LeBron could do the same with the conference thing at the end of this year. Wait, but Kareem, he didn't win it with the Bucks, right? He just won MVP. I, 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 don't, I don't think they won it all. I don't know. I could be wrong on that, but... That would be kind of insane if Kawhi wins finals MVP for three different teams. Like, that that's, like, insane if he actually does. Time. Nuggets. Not enough experience. All their players are kids. Jokic is 25. Jamal Murray's 23. Gary Harris is 25. There's a lot to like about Denver, but we've always known the NBA playoffs is about baby steps. First you make it. It's like Milwaukee. You make it, then you win a series, then you win a couple series. They're still – Denver's good, but they're a year away. Jack uh, yeah, I guess they're still fairly young, like Bol Bol, Michael Porter Jr. Jamal, I guess, could still get better. Jokic is still fairly young, but Paul Millsap, uh, Will Barden, Monte Morris, these are – vets in the nba well i guess monte morris is not that old compared to everyone else but but you wouldn't consider joel and b to be like a super young player and he was in the same draft class as jamal murray or ben simmons same draft classes uh or excuse me uh gary harris and Jokic were in the same draft class as joel and bead and then uh jamal murray was in the same draft class as ben simmons i just think we we said this last year definitely with the nuggets that they're too inexperienced and i think they still are maybe if they made it to the conference finals last year you could say they're a little bit more experienced i do think they still need like that one run to the conference finals at least and then we can say they have the experience so i'm not gonna hate on that one too much but we can get into this i think he said the jazz are next jazz not enough notes once bogdanovich got hurt uh, i get it wrist injury they don't have enough scores donovan mitchell's the only starter over 15 a game they're like boston without without a jason tatum there's a lot to like yeah, I guess you really need Clarkson and Mike Conley to step up if they're trying to win a playoff series or two. Two is going to be tough, but to win one, it would be funny if we get them and Rockets in round one. But yeah, losing Bojan definitely hurt. He was definitely their second best offensive player this year. So Clarkson or Conley, they're going to need to step up. And guys like Georges Niang, even Rudy Gobert on the offensive end, Moody, these guys, and like Ingles and O'Neal, they're going to have to step up. lot to like. Uh, Thunder, shock of season. Do you realize since mid-January... They had the best record in the NBA. I'm not joking. 17 and 5. Now, outside of Chris Paul, it's a bunch of dudes averaging like 12 points a game. So, and I think the playoffs is situational basketball. So you got to have more dudes. 
They are the best story of the season. Wait, what? Chris Paul, it's a bunch of dudes averaging like 12 points a game. Uh, like, wait, what? I don't listen to that back. Gallo's averaging 19 points this year. He's averaging more points per game than Chris Paul is. <laughs> what? Shea Gilgis Alexander is averaging 19 points a game. That's more points than Chris Paul is. And then, I mean, I know Dennis Schroeder just went home uh, for the uh, birth of his kids. So I don't know if he'll be playing. I, I think he will be, but 19 points. This is more points than Chris Paul is. So that's three players that, like, what? Okay, that is, that was, that was really bad. Like, uh, I don't know if he meant, like, over that month, two-month span, but that's three players averaging pretty much seven more points than what you just said on TV or on the radio it's not a good take at all, Colin. Not a good take whatsoever. The game, so, and I think the playoffs, the situational basketball, so you got to have more dudes. They are the best story of the season. That is about coaching, Billy Donovan, Chris Paul's leadership. They've been a great story. Chris Paul, uh, Chris Paul by the way, um, led the league in clutch points this year. That's kind of surprising, right? How about the Rockets? Small ball world. They trade Clint Capella and Robert Covington in February. They don't have a starter over 6'7". They chuck up a lot of three-pointers. I think they have a chance to surprise people because they're so unique. You can't prepare for them. If you go big, you can limit Westbrook maybe at the rim, but you won't keep up with them. You can't get too big against Houston. They're going to run you up and down off the floor. So I don't know how much success they'll have, but they will be in spurts. They will be incredibly difficult to defend. Mavericks. Cool hand Luka. Highest scoring offense by any team in 45 NBA seasons. Isn't Crazy. that remarkable? Highest score. But aren't the Bucks like one of the best defensive teams like ever? I don't know. I feel like, well, that's off offensive rating is what he's basically going on. Scoring off. NBA offensive rating, 1.16.7. Oh. Uh, Porzingis, Luka, Mark Cuban has got to love this. His star's 20 years old. Hard-working, nose to the grindstone. Very How about jealous. the Grizzlies? Want some more, Ant? J. A. Morant. Uh, ja? J. A. What? Why do you say J. A. A tremendous, fun young talent. Uh, this is a team that has struggled against better teams. They're a rebuild, so it's okay. Uh, Eight and twenty against winning teams, but all rookies in the NBA. Ja Morant led all of them with eleven. Double doubles. He is a spectacular, very much Westbrook with a better shooting touch. A little better shooter than Westbrook. Same hyper athleticism. Uh, Trailblazers. Don't doubt Dame. They also get Nurkic back and Zach Collins back. It's going to be huge for him. Definitely going to be huge. Portland's very. Or like we've seen them play so far, obviously. Very interesting. They could work them their way into the playoffs. They get their size back. We know Dame now that Steph Curry is out. He's the best shooter in the playoffs. He's the best shooter in the bubble now is Damian Lillard. Watch out. Pelicans, the Zion King. Listen, they were plus 10 points a game when he was in, minus three and a half when he was off the floor. Brandon Ingram's a more complete player. This kid is the straw that stirs the drink. Uh, first rookie to average 23 points and six rebounds since Shaq. In 19 games, too. Like, he, he did do that, but it was in 19 games. It was a small sample size for a season. In 92-93, as a rookie. Uh, Bucks. Well, I guess we're going to see more of Zion in the bubble. So, it'll be more than 19 games, obviously. Everybody hates Chris. <laughs> That's funny. Chris Rock Show. Chris Middleton That's said he didn't clever. touch a ball for like three months, four months. Come on, bro. You can't make that public because if you struggle, we're all going to hammer on you. They're also 9-1 and one without Middleton this season, and he's got a max contract, so a lot of eyes on Chris Middleton. He needs to play well. Giannis will. Chris Middleton needs to play well. That's a, f a fair assessment. Yeah. Raptors. Back to extinction. Hmm. You know what? They crushed bad teams this year. 35-4 and four against the NBA's junk. Sub-500 against winning teams. They're going to miss Kawhi. Get a bucket, get a stop. In the bubble. So They're going to be very fun to watch. I, I, they aren't my finals picks. They would probably be my third team to make it out of the East behind Boston. Or Milwaukee 1, probably Boston 2, and then Toronto 3. Maybe I'm just a little high on Boston over Toronto, but I wouldn't be surprised if Toronto ended up 
facing Boston and beating them. Uh, I, it would be very impressive if they were to go back to the finals. I don't personally think it's going to happen, but I, I wouldn't be surprised. They're a fantastic team, well coached. Wouldn't be surprised. Celtics, like dark horse champs. Number two defense. Three guys averaging 20 plus a game. Jason Tatum was a top six player in the league at the end of it. Most people think situationally Brad Stevens is the best or second best coach in the league. Watch out. They're my dark horse champs. Miami, still too young. Like Denver, feels like a year away. Four of their top six players are kids. Now, Jimmy Butler's been terrific. Uh, I get I get the coach and the star player. Very dangerous. And like Houston, they shoot a lot of threes. They can be streaky, but they shoot a ton of threes. And the seven... See, I don't know. Like, Miami is an interesting team going into the bubble or just into the playoffs in general because, like, who would you rather face? Philly or Miami? I don't know. I feel like... Or even Boston or Miami. My, I don't personally think Miami's going to make it to the conference finals if I had to bet any team out of the top five. Yeah. Uh, or the top four. So between uh, Philly... Or, excuse me, Boston, Toronto, Miami, and Milwaukee. Because those were the four best teams in the East this year. I, I don't think... I think they have the lowest percent chance of making it to the conference finals. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like they're missing that one guy, right? Like that number two. And maybe that's going to be Giannis down the line. Or it could be... I don't know. But I, I feel like... Well, we'll see. I'm excited to see if Bam could be that number two scorer kind of in the pipes. Because he might have to be. He might have to be the number two guy. Because uh, I don't know if it could be Robinson or Nunn or Hero. How about these Sixers? Philly ain't special. They're horrible on the road chemistry issues they're 19 and 19 in their last 38 games they started the season really well maybe the time off did them well i just don't think they're next level special download the all oh that's it so we're not going to get indiana okay or wait we got new orleans but not indiana okay or we got portland but not indiana all right, whatever. Or even Memphis. I think Indiana has the best chance of making the, uh, like winning a playoff series out of those teams. Yeah, like I get like not putting in maybe Orlando or Brooklyn, but those teams aren't winning a playoff series, but neither are probably Memphis or New Orleans or whoever's going to play the Lakers who's probably going to lose in round one. But you know what? I get it. Whatever. Let me know in the comments anything else you want me to react to as well. Drop a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next video.